So this is about over pronated food. It means your food is buckling onto the side. So if you are over pronated food, your inside ankle will hurt, your inside knee will hurt, the outside hip will hurt, eventually the lower back aches. So if you are having these signs and symptoms, you might be having an over pronated foot. So in this video, we are going to talk about over pronation of the foot. So pronation is absolutely a normal movement of an ankle joint. So pronation refers to a flattening of an arch of the foot. So over pronation or over pronated foot means that it's overly flattened arch more than what we require. Effects of the over pronation of foot. So over pronation of the foot can lead to developing bunions. So bunions are the prominent bony edges that more visibly you can see around the level of the big toe. The base of the big toe, every time when you push off, it presses against the ground that can lead to a bunion to develop. So plantar fasciitis. So the plantar fascia is a connective tissue between the heel and the toes. When you have a flat foot, your plantar fascia lengthens which overload the fascia. Gradually, the overloaded fascia will get inflamed that causes to a plantar fasciitis or a heel pain. Achilles tendinitis. So Achilles tendinitis is a tendinitis of the Achilles tendon at the back of your heel. So when you have a flat foot, along with the overpronation, your ankle joint actually dorsiflex, which means uh, your toes lift up. In this position, your Achilles tendon and the calf muscles are over lengthened, which gradually overload it and can turn as to an Achilles tendinopathy or tendinitis. So this all together can lead to a arch of a foot pain, a heel pain, and tight and stiff calf muscles. Especially the effects of the overpronated foot, you can visibly see in the x-rays. Uh, people are developing the heel spur, uh, which is an overprojection of a bone. Uh, more visibly, you can see at the base of a heel as well as the back of the heel. So the treatment method, to release the tension in the calf and the hamstring muscle, you can do a stretcher. To release the tension in the plantar fascia or the arch of the foot, you can use a massage ball or a tennis ball to release the tension around that region. So insoles are the effective way you can lift up the arch of the foot instantly. Uh, you can get the insoles in the shops, you can insert the insoles into your shoes to lift up your medial arch of the foot. Shoes where you can pick the shoes which can have an arch support. The foot orthotics. So foot orthotics are the customized one where you can get the nice arch support. For that you have to scan your foot, measure the, the length and the height of your orthotic for yourself. So, get a slipper or shoe or the sandal, whichever, which give a proper medial arch support to the foot to the people who are already having a flattened foot. I have seen so many people who came here with a severe pain and with just the insole correction or with the medial arch support correction, the pain gradually faded away within a couple of months of time. I hope this video is going to be helpful to understand your heel pain or an arch of foot pain or a tight calf muscle and make sure you're not anymore overpronated.